Hi folks, Astronomy Live here. Back on March 24th, SpaceX lifted off with the NROL-69 mission carrying a classified payload to orbit. And about two hours later, a large spiral was seen in the sky from the UK and Europe. Now this phenomenon has been seen before, and it's believed to be the spinning Falcon 9 second stage venting fuel at the end of its mission. This excellent footage of the spiral comes to us from Simon Minikin, and you can find links to his YouTube channel and Blue Sky in the video description, so be sure to check it out. This footage has timestamps in the corner that we can use to solve for the orbit and find out if this is really related to the Falcon 9 launch from Florida. To be able to solve for the orbit of the cloud, we need to know the coordinates of the cloud over time. So I took six frames that were widely spaced apart in time throughout the video, and cropped closely around the cloud to be able to minimize distortions from the very wide angle lens. I astrometrically solved these pictures and carefully measured the coordinates of the center of the cloud in each of the frames that I grabbed. I also want to make special note of the fact that in this last frame you can see that the spiral shape is cut off by something at the bottom. Keep that in mind as we go forward. Once I had made my astrometric measurements, I solved the orbit with LFIND and SATFIT. Here are the results from SATFIT. You can see the observational data on the first six rows. We have the azimuth and elevation in the as and L columns, and we can see how good the orbit solution fits these data. Although this was a very quick and dirty grab of six frames from the video, the resulting orbit solution is extremely good and fits the data quite nicely. We can see the track error and the delta T timing error are all very small for each of the observations. And the bottom two lines represent the orbital elements themselves in TLE format. The NORAD ID is just one that I had in a template that I used to create the file for the observation, so ignore that, but the rest of the orbital elements contain the useful information, and we can now pull this into other programs to look at what it shows. If we trace the orbit back two hours to the launch time, we can see that the position and trajectory of the object are consistent with the launch from Cape Canaveral, and it's also consistent with the trajectory prediction for this launch from flightclub.io. If we go forward to the time of the video of the spiral, we can see that it should have been visible from the UK and Europe, and we can see the azimuth and elevation on the right-hand side match the observed azimuth and elevation from the astrometry. If we go back to the video of the spiral, at the end of the video, the spiral appears to fly into an invisible line in the sky that causes it to disappear. This is actually Earth's shadow. The spiral was the exhaust of the Falcon 9 being illuminated by the sun, and in fact, earlier in the video you can see a variety of other satellites visible around the spiral as trails passing through the sky. If we look back at the time code, we can see that the spiral enters Earth's shadow just after 2004 Universal Time, and if we look at our orbital solution, we find that the orbit solution predicts that the object of this orbit should enter Earth's shadow at that time. In this diagram, the yellow portion of the orbit to the top left is the portion of time where it had direct line of sight to the sun in Earth's twilight. But the object is now gray, and the gray portion of the trajectory indicates that it has just entered Earth's shadow. And you can see at the bottom, the time is 2004.09 universal time. The fact that we actually see the spiral enter Earth's shadow is additional confirmation that our orbit solution is a good one. So, to all of the people out there who doubt that this was a Falcon 9 second stage venting fuel, you now have some questions to answer about why the trajectory traces back to a launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida at a time when we know that there was a launch headed in that direction from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and why do we see it suddenly vanish at the time it was predicted to enter Earth's shadow. Thanks for watching, and until next time, clear skies, folks.